I know you and I were at a party last night, Pez, and there's a lot of whispers around. Who do you think's going to win the wing? big game up there, North or Clarence? This is the one that they've been waiting for as uh, the umpires. So we've got Angus Reynolds and uh, Darren, uh, sorry, Angus Reynolds and Hamish Johnson and Alan Tyne in the field with uh, Darren Monks and Kevin Blom in goals, the veteran Kevin Blom. And the boundary is Liam Garrett and Mark Duffett. Ready to get her underway. One of the exciting things in the AFL caper when the umpire holds it aloft. He's decided to throw it up as the big man go up. It's a lovely uh, tap out by Joey Colrain. He's only reasonably new to the caper. Very athletic young man. Uh, it's close as you would expect in the grand final in there. They can't get it out at this stage. That was well done by uh, Clark for North Hobart, but it's uh, Clarence get the ascendancy first down towards centre half forward position. Repelling that attack, it's a chance for North Hobart. Picking it up, well worked by them. Good effort by Williams. Williams can't get at the ball now. Clarence go a handball. Fierce tackling going in with really tough conditions. Bending over now, that was well done by North Hobart. Terrific work by them, but it's North really, really fighting hard comes back out lovely tackle gee whiz it's tight in there beautiful pickup that was well done by hollingsworth but it's over the line it's a hot footy out there pez oh look plenty of pressure early in the game and uh yeah it's great great start by both sides certainly is as we can see here it's in that area you don't want it to be as a defender fighting very hard to keep that one in the last thing you really want to do is uh, give away a goal in the early stages. It's like that bit of an arm wrestle to see if you can just get get yourself and work your way forward into the game. As North Hobart have got their heads over the old onion there at the moment. It doesn't spill. Now there's an opportunity as it comes out. Weaving, getting the handball back. It was well done by Clarence. as a snap by uh, Woodham, but it just goes over and through for great, the minor score. Great play, that little skirmish there for that player to go backwards to release the player behind to have a shot on goal. Really good use of the hands there. So North Hobart coming out towards this uh, inside wing. Goes back in door. Well played oh, there. It was uh, Joshy Cleaver, but it's going to be a free kick from that uh, reward for that really good tackle. And this young man here, uh, Lewis Drury, can play. He kicked six goals, I think, just recently and uh, against them before. Strong mark. Did the centering uh, kick. And coming out was uh, Jacob Smith with a very, very creative goal. And he's one of the players, Pug, they'll be looking for down forward. Yes, and Lewis Drury, from memory, was in the state team this year. Um, very good player, played in the premiership for Clarence last year. All right, so it is Jacob Smith now having a shot on goal. And it's certainly nice when you can 4 a forward and capitalise on your shot on goal. As you can see here, arched his back, went up with plenty of opposition. It was a hard ball to try and mark as uh, Jesse Clemens tried to spoil. And it was a very, very nice mark and goal, moreover, from Jacob Smith. And that's what you need to do to settle early, pairs in a grand final. You do, and it was a very smart kick by Drury. Even though it wasn't a great kick, he kicked it at the right spot. If that wasn't a mark, comes to ground, they're a chance to score a very good kick. So Colrain gets the tap out again. He's got a very, very good vertical leap as Joey Colrain. Gets a spoil on there, but it's a lovely tackle. Gee whiz, that's the sort of thing you step up in a grand final, isn't it, Pez? It's that perceived pressure where as a normal roster game, yep. you might have a few extra seconds to uh, possess the ball out, but uh, you know you're going to be in more pressure. And yeah, you can see as the pickup came up and the very big tackle by Riley for Clarence. Well bumped out, working their way forward. Terrific work uh, there by Zachy Doran and swoops towards the goal, but through for the minor score. Unlucky there by North Harbour to drop that chest mark. At least he got himself in front, didn't he? So um, it's a good start by the full playing in front. Defenders, you've got to go with them. There's been a whistle on play. Did you see that, Pug? Uh, yeah, kicked uh, over, the, over the square from kicking out from full back. Oh, that's a crucial sin to do that. We can see the ball up. It gives away valuable meterage when you're about to clear. As North Hobart pick up, and he slipped it through. Jacob, uh, not Jacob Smith, I apologise. That's Tyson Barrett, and he has put it through for the answering goal for uh, North Hobart, and uh, that's just what they needed there, Pez. Yeah, look, good goal by uh, North Hobart. I'm surprised that that player... He yeah, used his body well, didn't he? Got his opponent out of the road and um, used his strength. Good play. Very good play. So that's really set the game up. Uh, we are just uh, f five minutes into this quarter, and it is Clarence, 117 to North Hobart, 117 apiece. 
Good rucking duel now. They've had a bit of a change. North Hobart with that head over the ball. Can't get it out. Very hard contested ball in the centre. And this is going to be the crucial part of the game that you alluded to, Pez, to try and get that clean ball out of that midfield area. Absolutely. Handball back over. Comes to North Hobart player in Clements. Clements can't get a, a freewheeling play as Harry Spur comes in to help. They've got the numbers on the ball as uh, Joshy Cleaver gets it out. But more over than that, it's Connor Page who's trying to work hard. Lovely handball back by Jacob Smith is our goal scorer. He's trying to come in and affect a tackle. You can see here that ball bumbling around like a ball in a pinball machine. It just can't get out. It's a trying to flip it over. And the umpire comes in and says, I'll have a ball up to open it out. They're really spreading the numbers over the ball there, Pug. Yeah, centre clearance is vital here at North Hobart. Both teams really having a crack. Joey Colrain, who's been really effective in that jumping uh, so far for Clarence. He almost throws that one out to try and get an advantage for his players. Uh, North Hobart at the bottom of the ball. And uh, it was Lukey Patton trying to hold it in. And the umpire, again, has uh, nothing but to throw the ball up. Up it goes. Colrain tries to affect that uh, spoil. Working over four with Jesse Clement. Well right. roved, uh, terrific work by Cleaver. Cleaver, now it's North Hobart, go to that true uh, centre half forward position. It's well done there by Zach Berry. Berry can't do so, but it's uh, Tommy Steele working his way forward. A lovely handball by Clarence, but uh, it almost seems like there's more numbers on the ground than there should be because it's such a congested play at the moment. There's a good succession of handballs there by Clarence, but to no avail, and it comes up and marked there by Joshy Jordan. Jordan driving it in. So I tell you what, that was a long, dangerous kick. And this is the man that they don't want to leave alone. Fancy leaving the jury. Yes. He is one of the people that we nominated. He kicked six goals last time, uh, Puggy, and they left him alone to run forward. Yes, also outsized his opponent then. I'm not sure who's playing on him, but the back line of North need to tighten up for sure. So it is Lewis, Lewis Jury. We know he is a goal kicker and he has put that one through for a goal. Terrific work by him. And that's the second to Clarence. One to him, one to Smith. Uh, and they have hit the lead. It is Clarence. 2-1-13 uh, to the Demons, 1-1-7. One, one, the scoreboard is brought to us by Crips the Master Bake. They are baking bread here in Tasmania since 1878.